Hello, and uh, thank you for dropping in and watching uh, one of my videos. I want to start by saying that I really appreciate all the mails, all the messages I get uh, regarding uh, suggestions to uh, topics, video topics, what to make tutorials or, or what to make videos about. And I just want to say that I read everything I get. I also try and give a short answer back to you. But as always, uh, what you want to do is not... Uh, well, you don't always have time to do everything you want to do. So I got to prioritize and try to um, make a list of all your suggestions. And um, the one most people ask about, uh, or the one I really feel that I like to do. That's the one that I, well, will do first. I will hopefully get time to do all of your suggestions. It is very, it is a lot. But one that has frequently reoccurring, basically from the start, for years now, uh, I have uh, brushed that subject a lot of times, but not done a specific uh, video instructional if you so want uh, regarding this and that is well I would name it combat power or substats because this game especially now when we also have talismans in the game uh, we have auxiliary uh, jewelry uh, a lot of mounts a lot of cloaks. So take my cardinal for example. With all those additional features in the game, every cardinal is not the same. From beginning there was very little different between two players in the same class that had about the same combat power. There were let very little difference. What difference it was was mainly on the equipment substats. So it was very mainstream um, when you played. A lot of people still play the game that way, but all the features that uh, Netmarble have put in the game has actually opened up doors to make something unique about your character. And it depends a little which play which class you play. Some classes are very straightforward, and some classes have a lot of um, options. So to break it down, what I'm saying is this: a lot of people ask me, uh, both in game and in messages, how come this and this player have four hundred thousand higher combat power than me? As far as I can see, we have about the same equipment. So often when you read a, a topic like that, the general answer is, well, uh, that player can have more mounts than you uh, and more, um, of course, more, um, uh, sorry, uh, <clears throat> artifacts is the word I'm looking for, agathians talismans and so on. And sure, that is true. The play can have more of those, but that is not the whole truth. It's far from the whole truth. Because a player in this end game that I am in now, you can see that my combat power, let me put on my, so I can explain it while I show you. If I put on my field PvP suit, you see that my combat power is 4,364,000, no buffs applied uh, whatsoever. So that is my raw combat power in field PvP. Uh, and I say field PvP because I have uh, another PvP suit for battlefields. I have the hero jewelry, so that will lower my combat power. Uh, so what I'm saying is this. You can take another cardinal at level 361 and you can see that he has, well, maybe 3.8 million or 4.7 million, 4.8 million. And all of those differences is not just 
because that player has more or less agathions, artifacts, mounts or talismans or upgrade on it. It's another very important factor in play here. And that is the topic that for this uh, video also, this instructional, combat power or substats. Every one of these, exception for the for the substats and artifact, but but very important. All of these I will show you. It really adds up. All of this, and we can start with the easy one. The equipment have substats, and when I say combat power or substat, I mean correct substat. I mean like this. I can go in and choose on my equipment. I can choose the substat that will give me the most combat power. Speed increase here doesn't give any combat power, for example. Equipment is not uh, very grateful to show. I will show you uh, cloaks and other stuff then. But anyway, you see I have speed increase here. I have skill cooldown. I have attack speed. None of this gives combat power. None. It's zero extra combat power. I could put on 10,000 extra combat power by choosing other stand substats. And if you do that on all your equipment, your jewelry, your auxiliary jewelry, on your mounts and on your cloak, if you do that on everything that you can change your substat, you go for the combat power instead. And we can look at the talismans now. If I take up mine here, that is very, uh, we will see a lot of people that will speed away in combat power. You will see here, I have one, two, three, four, uh, five level four talismans, and yet I only have 85,000 in combat power. And taking regard that I actually have a rare and a high grade, um, a high grade in this case, uh, combination in effect. And the reason is because I have chosen substats that actually help me in uh, PvP and PvE. I have different um, different talisman. This is my PvP talisman. I have different for for my PvE. You can look at my talisman instruction. So I can of course equip talismans I can, with substats. Uh, mount change the substats. Cloaks absolutely equipment and everything, all those adds up. It tens, dozens and dozens of substats that I can change and go for those that give the most combat power like uh, HP, for example, uh, attack, for example, physical and medical attack, which is useless for me. Uh, well, useless, uh, but, but uh, in comparison, it's, it's very useless for me. I am at level 600 in, in physical attack. I am level 2 in medic, uh, medic defense and physical defense. Rank, sorry, I'm rank. So it doesn't matter if I, if I erase my attack power or not, but it will boost my combat power a lot. But combat power in itself says nothing. Combat power is not what determines who wins in a battle. You can pump up. I could probably raise my combat power easily by 5% by changing my substat, maybe even 10%. And in my line, that's two to 400,000 combat power. I could probably ra raise this easily to 4.6, but that, that, that does not make me stronger. It makes me weaker. It looks good, but it makes me weaker in PvP. I don't want 50,000 more uh, more more health. I can go for 600,000 uh, in health instead of, of 560 and boost. Uh, I, I still have a lot of health, but and boost my combat power extensionally. But the cost of that is my resilience and it is my crit damage reduction, which show a zero in combat power. I have over 30 in, 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 the, in the crit reduction uh, and I have uh, almost uh, 20k or so in 
create rate reductions to the enemy. In a PvP situation, that is what keeps me and makes me very hard to kill. That is what makes me a real tank healer. And in, in combination with that, I've chosen to boost my attack speed and my skill cooldown. None of those gives combat power. So I also dish out a lot of damage actually. So the subs that I've chosen is like mid-range combat power to none. So I hope you understand that combat power, and I know many people say that combat power doesn't say anything so much, but they don't really understand how to utilize on that. So what you need to do uh, when you're making your charter, and I'm talking for a place that doesn't know this, many of you knows this already, of course, it is to really look what do I need? And I think many already knows on equipment. But take, take it for example the cloak. What do I need on my cloak that can give me a boost um, in, in, the, in the, the, the PvP situation for example? So here I've shown shoes and resist, resilience, resilience, and on some cloaks you are um, limited, of course. You don't have every substat on every cloak, so you have to choose between those that are here. But of course I can go for, for everything in physical attack, which will boost my combat power a lot. Uh, but I am actually going for all resilience here. I'm just saving up. This physical attack is, well, I have this, but it's, for me, those two are pretty much useless, to be honest. They doesn't give me anything in, in PvP situation, uh, but resilient does. It builds up. And I go like this on each and every uh, equipment. Uh, and sure, some equipment requires red diamonds, so those you have to change slowly, of course. Though, uh, the cloaks you can start right away, you just have to enter the cave and get the uh, uh, needles and the magic fabrics. And I tend to buy needles when they are on sale. Uh, and the talisman is the same. I won't spoil that yet because that is another, uh, a whole nother, I have done a beginner's tutorial on that and I will do an advanced tutorial. So I urge you to check on that because it's super important. You have so many combinations uh, on the talisman. You can have different talisman on each deck. And in addition, you also have combination bonuses that apply if you have the right talisman equipped. So again, you can have 150 combat power on your talisman. Or, or and zero combination bonuses and that looks good or you can do as I have done I only have 80,000 but I have equipment I just show you you show you fast I have a combination bonus on the other hand which restricts me I can't choose what I want because I need f three white equipped and two black but on the upside I get an 8% crit resist and 8% PvP damage decrease on each and every talisman that has those substats. So I want to equip, I rather equip a 8000 CP talisman that had both of those substats than a 16k talisman that doesn't have those substats. Because as you can see, if I clip my collection here, you see that I have 28% plus 2, so over 30% PvP crit decrease and crit resist, I have over 8000 in reduction. Those two together are by far more important than, than 8000 extra CP because as I said CP in itself combat power in itself doesn't do anything combat power is given in accordance with what subs that you choose and they I don't know why they have made this game this way because it's really pretty useless actually uh, and for example HP health power for some reason gives a lot 
of combat powers. And physical attack gives a lot of combat power. But for me, sure, HP is important for me, but I get that naturally. I don't have to use equipment to get that. For me, those stats, uh, especially the attack stats, uh, are not worth anything. So I can get 400,000 more in combat power, but I get tons weaker in PvP. So when I see someone that is the same class, the same level, but they are 400,000 more in combat power, it's either because they have maxed out every mount and everything, and I am not, I'm not maxed out, but I would say I have 80% of everything at least. So th those 400,000 cannot be only because they have two extra mounts or, or something. That's, I mean, two extra mounts is around 60k. Uh, and well, that's pretty much what I miss. Uh, so then I know that those, that combat power comes from somewhere else. Uh, and in some cases it's correct, especially in the burst damage players, because they actually need the attack, and attack gives a lot of combat power. So in some sense those are a, a high CP attacker, that, uh, in those cases the combat power actually tells more than a cardinal's combat power. A cardinal's combat power, well, of course it tells something, but on those high end, 4.3, 4, 4.6, that doesn't tell you anything. It tells you squat. You have to look, and especially a charter where you have all three. As you can know, a tall, uh, cardinal is what's in other games usually referred to as a priest. And a priest is a combination of a tank, a healer, and a warrior. So I'm not good, at, I, I'm not best at anything but I have everything, so to say. And if you utilize that correctly, and when you have different decks, I can actually be a super hard uh, PvP opponent, and I can really be the jacks of all trades. And that is the Cardinal, and you, you have some more classes that actually can utilize it more than a straight up PvP charter. Well, there the combat power will, will tell you a little bit more. So again, as you can see, I equipped a 3.5, uh, uh, 3, 3,500 is very good here, uh, talisman. But I have, as you can see, a red talisman, the mushroom I can equip here, that actually have good stats, crit rates, evasion, resilience, everything I need actually. I can swap those two, and then I will upgrade. I can do it so you see. Then I will upgrade my combat power with 11,000, easy as that. But, all of a sudden, my bonuses and the crit in itself decreased radi radically. If I equip this again, and this is only by one top, and the reason is because I lost my uh, bonus. My uh, high grade combination bonus. So I equip this, oops, this again, I lower by 11,000, but boom, in combat, in PvP wise, I just upgraded my character immensely. So as you can see, I can upgrade 11,000 combat power, but I probably weakened my PvP with 5% or something like that. So that's just one, one uh, talisman in one feature. And then you have the mounts, you have the, well, artifacts. You can pretty much do anything about those now, but all the, all the things you can do something about in the game. And it, as I said, it adds up to dozens and dozens of substats. And when you add those up, 500 there, 600 there, that piles up to 10-15% of your total resilience, for example. 500 of 50,000, 
that not much, that's one percent. Yeah, but do that on twenty substats. And all of a sudden you have ten percent extra sorry, twenty percent extra resilience. And then in a PvP situation for a player like me, twenty percent extra resilience instead of that it looks good that I have 100k extra combat power, but the combat power resist of, uh, uh, consists of HP. Just take that for example. It's one hit, those 50,000 HP. It's one hit, and those 50k are lost. One hit from an opponent, and I lose that edge. Or I can have 20, uh, constant 20% extra resilience. And that's just one example. And if you do that on each and every skill and substat, you go thoroughly through it, you can make your unique character. And with the talisman system now, I already start to see uh, guides that tell you what to do. And this is the setup you want, etc., etc. Don't fall for that. That's bullshit. The talisman is exactly what this game need. You can as you see, just from one example, very early in the game, I just boosted my PvP a lot with this. And that is only on the high grade, one high grade. You can actually do one high grade, and I am waiting to activate this one. You see, I miss some here. When I activate this one, I get an additional 2.8% per talisman that is equipped and if I then also add another extra black instead of the yellow one I get additional ignore PvP 2.8 so you see how it piles up I go up to around 50% in crit reduction instead of just going with the mainstream and go for as high HP as possible because again if you don't, I am sorry for, for, for repeating this, but the combat power, not HP, the, the CP, the combat power is only a number that is calculated depending on what substats you choose. In this case, I, I mean, it's a lot more, but when we look at here uh, on things that have substats, so if you choose health point instead of damage reduction, you will get a lot more combat power because for some reason they have made the game that way. I would rather they skip combat power all again. Just take it away, the combat power, because it doesn't say anything. Or you can make every substance equal. Then it will say something, actually. Then it would actually be available to measure where you are in the game, what you miss, uh, what you have, then you can actually compare. But since they haven't done that game, since skill cooldown gives zero combat power, but for me, that means, well, to put it quickly, it's 15% extra heal. I just break it down, one and a half second I have, one and one and four, and on my heal, uh, and on my, on my uh, knockdown, I have 20% extra knockdown, the rate which I can cast it, but in a game you have to cal calculate in percentage. So I am 15% more heal output in a game that lasts more than one round of casting, of course. Take 3 versus 3 for example, I have 15% more effective heals and knockdowns because I choose the skill cooldown that it gives me zero combat power. So, I'm just blurting out uh, examples here. So, you don't have to do as I say, but my point of view, I want to go with the substat that gives me the most in PvP situation and on my monster suits, I want to go with the substats that give me most, well, really, there I actually go for damage output because that's what you need in monster hunting. At the, in the end game, you really need, 
well of course protection but that you get from the specific armor due to that uh, class uh, and then you really want uh, a high speed and high attack uh, but again the talismans my talismans on my my pve also again against uh, monsters sorry here i go for resilience uh, and crit reduction as you can see here i lowered my my um, combat power very much but here i actually go for uh, crit critical uh, i haven't activated any bonuses yet but I, I i will do that i will not activate this i probably do it i mean <laughs> first but the one i will go for on my um, here on my um, it's a high grade on my pvp pve suits and i need one more yellow and one more um, purple so i happily take this one away and this one away and replace it with a 3k talisman that is purple and a 3k talisman that is yellow i mean of course i hope to find a level 4 yellow and a level 4 uh, purple this is almost turning into a talisman guide uh, but i have to use something and the talisman is very easy to use to show why i need my topic combat power or correct substats because there is such a thing as correct substats correct is not a universal this is correct correct with correct i mean correct for you how you like to play how you play what class you have in accordance to that there is a correct setup and there is a wrong setup in your opinion so you can't take a, a guide and say well this is the setup you should have i saw one on cloaks this is the one setup you should have on your cloak and it started by saying the two first cloaks you should have hp on the coming cloak you should show this and this and this well that is a setup for maximum combat power for me it's useless i don't want that on my cloak for example on my cloak since I have a mana depletion. I take a lot of the damage I take as a cardinal is taken from my mana. And in 3 versus 3, you cannot use potions. So, to not render myself useless when my mana hits the bottom, I want some mana tick. Regeneration, I'm talking about here. On my three versus three which is my battle suit i want some mana there so i at least on the time it takes to replenish my cooldown on my heal at least in the same speed i want my mana to come back so i can still pop a heal to my comrades after my mana is out that's just one aspect and super important I see other cardinals, I have played with a lot of other cardinals and they run around when their mana is out and they just die. Well, I also need to run around, but I can pop a heal every 12 seconds at least. So I'm not useless. They need to die to replenish it. I don't have to do that straight away. I can actually pop a few heals before I die. And in a 3 versus 3 game, that's essential. That's the difference between a good cardinal and a bad cardinal actually. Uh, just to take a, play, uh, uh, a shark that I know, I played a cardinal from the start or bishop and I'm sure that some of you out there that are specialists or what to call it on your class could do an exactly same tutorial as I do now for your class to give guides. So I try to stay overall focus but when i take my examples yes i take my examples for a cardinal because that's the one i know how to play but you will know what i mean you will understand when you go in your silver ranger or, or, or your ghost hunter or whatever your paladin you will see what i mean you will see oh i have crit rate on my paladin i don't really need that if i can change it to 30% extra crit rate resist instead that's much more important since that's the main feature so 
with that said, uh, I hope I gave you a more in-depth, because men have asked for this. I'm sorry if I get a little engaged when I talk. I always get that, because especially now on this topic, uh, because I have actually, at the end here, when I started to get more active on my YouTube clips again, uh, I got a lot of, of uh, messages regarding this subject. Why is he this and that more uh, in combat power than me? We are on the same uh, we are on the same level and I know for a fact that he also is a free to play. He hasn't bought anything. And I know for a fact that we have around the same equipment. So how can he be 250,000 more combat power? Why is he so much better than me? And I always start with saying, hey, hey, combat power is not the measurement how good you are, first of all. Your skill, first of all, in PvP, that's how fast you are on your fingers and, <laughs> and all of that, of course. But, in addition, moreover, it's, as I have said, the substat. And, well, you probably have better substats. Better suited for your char charter, for your class. Or you just picked the hell wrong. You have to look on that. He probably have a lot of substats that give CP boost. And then you have to ask yourself, well, is that right for that class? Or is it not? So 300,000 extra in combat power is nothing compared to correct substance. So with that, I say goodbye. Oh, I'm still alive. That's nice. I am actually farming talismans now. Uh, as you can see, they drop pretty, pretty good. We can open my 45 here and see. I've actually gotten four level four, uh, sorry, three level four talismans from uh, field monster drops. Now I only got uh, level three. Um, so there is a good time now to actually farm talismans. And you find your little good spots. I found a pretty empty spot. Well, I have to kill two, two people to make it empty, but uh, anyway, uh, those chaos points are already down of course so with that uh, I thanks for me and I'm sure I will get a lot of comments on improvements or or what I co can go into in more depth uh, and my next instructional tutorial what you want to call them will with a high percentage be the follow-up on my uh, talisman because there is so much to tell there, and I am I'm not saying this in a, in a uh, descending way or, or, or try to say that my uh, instructions are better, but before you start taking advice from an instructional, you really need to listen to what they say and look on your chart and say, does this apply to me? Is what he say actually the best for me? Because, well, I've looked on who is out there. There, is, uh, there are uh, dozens or so already out there, and half of them go for the combat power setup. They haven't re even realized the potential of, of, of the combination bonuses yet, how they, add, uh, how they add and stack upon each other. You can have four or five combination bonuses activated at the same time. How much better isn't that than 50,000 extra combat power? Well, I, 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 that I say that for the next video. So thank you for uh, watching this as usual. Uh, it's your support and your me all the messages you send me. Uh, the comment boxes I have not always time to read, but the in-game message and the messages you send me on YouTube, all of those I read daily or at least once every third day. Uh, so this was the one that most asked for now. And the next, I'm sure, will be an in-depth talisman instructional. Okay, have fun playing, and I hope you got some help from my instructional. Take care, and as always, thanks for your support. And don't forget to subscribe and like. It actually means a lot. That's what makes a YouTuber ticking. Thank you.